Hey, this is Chris. Hey, it's Costello here. Hi, Chris. How are you? You I'm doing good, Dr. Mr. Costello. How you doing? Uh, you know what? I feel kind of like a skank here because we. What did we promise last week? That we're not going to talk any politics unless oh, no. something happens. Well, gee, look what happened. <laughs> yeah, the, the very next day. It was the very next day that uh, Biden dropped out and uh, Vice President Kamala Harris is not taking his spot. She got the endorsement of the Obamas and off and running. Here we go. And of course, uh, we were wondering, so we're going to keep it short politics. Again, what, how Trump was going to go after her, right? Because he spent all this time, sleepy Joe, old Joe, worst president ever. And, and, and just, in, and now, yada, now yada, gonna, yada. anything he says is going to sound sexist and racist, and, and but that's normal for him anyway. So. This is true. He, he just can't help himself. He's like a, a fifth grade kid. You know, I know you are, but what am I? Mm. Yep. He was saying last night at, a, at, a, at a, one of those damn rallies, but now they're inside now because I, I love it if someone's at a rally and they popped a balloon, you know, just, <laughs> just to watch you uh, da, da, hit the deck again. My ear, my ear. You, freaking you, know what, you know what I'd like to do is like you know, just <laughs> give one of those uh, laser pointers. <laughs> that'd be great to watch the Secret Service come crawling everywhere going, where's it coming from? Oh, that'd be great. That'd yeah, be great. yeah what you he was saying last night at one of those stupid new rallies like, Everyone says since they've been shot, I got I'm nice now. I'm a nice guy now. I got to be nice. You know what? I can't be nice because they're not nice people. They're dangerous people. So, Kamala, get out of here. You're fired. I'm just going. Oh, same old. We can live off that apprenticeship. <laughs> you you got to do your. You got to do your mouth like this, Chris. When you do. When you do. Um, oh. Like this. You should shake. You got to get the hands going. <laughs> you got to get the sphincter mouth. Uh, I, 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 mouth. Uh, yeah, I do. I'll, I'll pass. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I got to. I got to listen. It didn't take long for Republicans and Trump to start calling her names and stuff like that. So, I mean, if you get the best way instead of just yeah, just to get the true reaction as to do how she feels because she's she's really happy. I'm happy mm -hmm. for her. I like her a lot. You know. So let's just go to the source, man. But we I can't. So right here on the Chris and Costello deal, we have for your entertainment pleasure. Here she is, Vice President. Kamala Harris. Hello, hey, hey, hey. hey, 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 hey. hey, hey. boys. Boys. Oh, thank you. Nice to anyone said to me. Good to see you. Oh. Life again. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know, I can, 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 there it is. Yeah, congrats. They're going to pick on you. That, you know, think, like, yeah. Someone put up on the internet a picture of you, uh, Kamala, and there you were, your face with Joker makeup on. And it said underneath the giggler. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well, when you're happy, you're happy. That's all. Yeah. I'm just happy to be running for this great nation of ours presidency. Sounds Excellent. Like and you know what? Every, everybody what? here at the original canceled Radio Guys show, we're going to endorse you too. So you if, betcha. Yeah, you never mind the others. Well, but you know, we can... that might be better than Barack and Michelle's. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. You, you are right. welcome. When we got our man from the South next well, door. We're not sounding too gay. We, we are a better power couple. <laughs> 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 not in the gay way. Not in the gay way. Well, it's an entertainment well, way. Not that there's and anything it, wrong with that. No, not in a, it's an entertainment way. Okay, I got I got stuff. This the first. This came out right after it was it was uh, announced you were, you were going to run. Biden endorsed you. Okay, a shirt came uh -huh. out from the bag of people right off the gate. It says, "I just want to get your reaction." The first one shirt says, "Joe and the Ho gotta go." Oh my goodness, he couldn't do any better than that. Because why? I've never heard any of that. Well, I, did, I don't know why they're they're portraying that since you're a woman, I guess they're portraying you slept your way to the top. So you're going to hear a lot of that stuff. Here's one. They say you should, if you pay for your vice presidential pick, Pete Buttigieg, uh, Buttigieg they said the, the, uh, the slogan it's would be. It's Buttigieg, darling. It's Buttigieg. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Uh, so the ticket slogan would be, uh, they call it the blowjob ticket. <laughs> well... I know that he's full of hot air, so that would work. Not <laughs> Pete, of course. The other one. The Cheeto uh, magnet is full yeah. of hot air. So uh, he could blow. Not thinking that's what they meant by the blowjob ticket, but it's okay. Oh, Here. isn't that unfortunate? Because I don't know. I wasn't convicted of sexual assault. Mm, Just oh, saying. Right. 
That's right. He's not a man in conviction, even though he has 34 convictions. I'm just, hey, there right, you go. Right, right wing commentators. I never heard of this guy. Maybe you have Costello. Constantine Kyson uh, referred to Ooh. you, this vice president, as a vagina of color. Oh, well, I am of That's color a and I do have a vagina. So, yeah, that one might be true. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Okay. Uh, maybe you could vajazzle your vagina. Oh, oh, what's your name again? That's going a bit far. <laughs> now, here's one. Here's one. Now, this one says that you that you got your start in politics by sleeping with Willie Brown, I believe an ex ex mayor of San Francisco. Did you date him at some point? Well, yes, indeed, I did long before I was married to the first gentleman. But yes, yes, we did go out a little bit. But heck, I had all kinds of celebrity bows at that point in time. Did you, did you and I don't him? think he did. I would like to say that I I worked my way to the top. Well, I wasn't yeah, asleep. I, I think so. Just because you, date, you dated people, they make it sound like you were some kind of slut. Uh, but so also because you dated at one, uh, one point uh, Montel Williams. Do you know that guy? I did indeed. Yeah, I did indeed. Yes, Montel was really quite a lot of fun. And again, I did not sleep my way to the top. I worked hard for this. When you dated Montel, did you buff his head? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. He liked a little so, shiny claw. He liked that head shiny, man. He, 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 he liked a little shiny claw. A little pled. Montel's really pissed off, you know, because he doesn't, he doesn't, everyone's asking him about their relationship. He's going, I'm not going. It's over 20 years ago. We dated for like right. a year. You know? well, you're going to get your crap from me. I'm happy for her. I like her. Good for you, Montel. So. <laughs> right. He was a good man. He is a good man. Yes. Yes. I used, to, I used to like this senator. Remember, you know who Tulsi Gabbard is, Senator Tulsi Gabbard? She said, uh, quote, quote, Kamala Harris slept her way to the top. <laughs> and with a name like Tulsi Gabbard, poor mm. thing, I guess it wasn't possible for her. Sounds like a position. Uh, hey, uh, they also say <laughs> that you, you're just another DEI hire. Yes, I have heard that. And you know, the only DEI people are the ones that DEI themselves. What does that stand for? Sorry, don't know. Diversity. Diversity, equity, inclusion. Oh, yeah, yeah. E -E okay. Yes, but I think that it's just a bunch of middle-aged white guys that are saying that. You are correct, because yeah, they just they just don't they just say you were given the nomination, you didn't earn it. You're the freaking vice president. The president steps away. Well, the vice president mm -hmm. is the way it's, that's the way it always is. So. And apparently they haven't seen uh, any of the cases that I have, you know, and the current uh, Republican candidate for president, let's just say I have seen it. I have prosecuted it. I have sent it to jail. Yeah. yeah good, good one. Good one. Like that. Oh, J.D. Yeah. Vance, the vice president. Did, did, did you guys see the movie based off the book that he wrote to Hillbilly Effigy? Did you see that? We're going close. I, to, going close to a great job. Do you know what? We have enough hillbillies in real life. I don't need to see the, the movie. He's, yeah. you, oh, please. He and his catless woman thing. Oy. Yeah. What kind of stupid thing is that to say? I mean, you know, it was well, a child's catless woman. And you know he's just um, he's just the other one's mini me. Oh, absolutely. So that's yeah. all there is to that. Mm -hmm. you, say you, you know, you can't be a good president because you're not a mother. You don't have kids. There's no way you can be a good president. Well, I don't think I have. Can. I have two she's beautiful mother. stepchildren, and yeah. so I'm not at all sure. Didn't you see what my uh, even even the first gentleman's ex-wife? called out that ridiculous comment. And my stepdaughter was quick to my side. That's ridiculous. And anybody that chooses not to have children or can't have children, well, I just think that shows you the level of intelligence we're dealing with right there. They're just jealous because they think you got there because one, you're female, Two, you're a woman of color. Three, you have a laugh like a hyena. They just, they just don't know how to do it. So, yeah. <laughs> well, they just don't understand that <laughs> they're going down. I, I here's, really here's, here's one senator wrote on his own on his on his Facebook page, right? Kamala Harris is a little whore. Oh, These are politicians saying this. I'm seriously. Now, which one gets right. paid for it? I don't remember. 
That could be the prostitute or the. I never. I would never do it for free. (laughs) And she opens her mouth and inserts her foot. Well, it's called a a campaign (laughs) donation. Well, doesn't always have to be monetary, my dear. Mm. Uh, okay. So you know that that thing about cats and women who haven't had kids. They, I, I I assume that I, I was just thinking of Clinton. You know that they had dogs and a child. But then again, never mind. Moving well, on. Well, he well they also his also his idiocracy went through to my friend um, Pete Buttigieg too. For somehow mm-hmm. he's childless too. What the hell was that all about? He's, he's, adop- he's adopted two boys. He's not childless. No, he has a little girl and a little boy. But there's no way that man, right? We need to have a little discussion on biology because he cannot have children biologically. He's a man. It does, and they it did. Doesn't. And Don't he and his care. husband did adopt yeah. two beautiful yeah. children. Yeah. yeah, exactly. They so, are lovely children. All right, don't, but he don't included them in the Catholic oh. women, and they can call me names all they want. They can call me names all day long, and I shall just laugh at that <laughs> because I'm way smarter, and they're going down. Yeah. Well, I, then, got they, a, I got a question for yes. you. What What do you seriously think your chances are of winning this? Well, people vote, and I'm in. Well, yes, but do you, I, I personally think. That, that you've got it. I mean, it just seems that the energy and everything we see is just, just you know. You well, we st- well there's, there's still a ways to go yet, but come that mm-hmm. convention, we're going to fire up the troops and we're going to set us back on the right path. And they can say all that they want, but I was never convicted. <laughs> that's also very true. You, you convicted people, that's for sure. Uh, we want to, <laughs> uh, we want to thank Vice President the Giggler for I mean Kamala Harris for being on with us. Today. Appreciate the Giggler. You know, Mr. Chris, you are just too funny. Be Peter Giggler. Thank you. Being, being wonderful being on the sidelines here, hearing this conversation. <laughs> well, gentlemen, I'm always at your disposal. Okay. Oh, lovely. Very good. We're, we're calling you again. We're getting, we, like you said, we got Indeed. a long campaign ahead, so we want to touch base with you down the road a little bit, okay? Indeed, gentlemen. Go register to vote for the right person. Me. Oh, yeah. Going to vote for you. You do good. You go to uh, oh. almost, Kamala. Oh, no, gentlemen. We'll have a lovely time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. The queen wave. Do the queen wave. The English she's Bye-bye. gone. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was great. I was special. I'm glad she spent some time. And she is a a uh, breath of fresh air, happy person, you know, and it's mm-hmm. just, you know, yeah. that, that, that Trump thing come back to backfiring because I was talking about you can't vote for him and, and he's the old guy, the old guy in the ticket. Well, who who's the old guy in the ticket yeah. now? He is, you know. <laughs> so all those things you said before about don't vote for old guy, he's the old guy. So that's it's it. great. That's it. Oh, that's interesting. That yeah. was cool. Well, gosh, you know, it's, that, it's that time of year, man. So we're, we're, we're really deep in the summer. And a week or so, you know, we'll be into the last throes of summer. That's pretty, pretty. Fast. It's been really hot, you know. Yeah. It's been pretty fast. Every summer, you know, there's always like they say, this is the song of the summer. This is the trend of the summer. This is the hot artist of the summer. So we're going to check and see how hip you are. <laughs> there's been a couple of, yes. There's been a couple of trends going on this summer. So we're going to see if you know what the, what, the, what the hot songs are, the hot artists are that's been happening this summer. Okay. All right. And. He, he, he has that, on your computer, you know, and all he has, he has, he has that look of dread. Okay, so, <laughs> it's okay. It's all in fun already. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay, so the hottest female artist of this summer, hands down, has been who? Yeah, oh, well, who that's, that's 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 got to be Miley Cyrus. Eh, wrong. <laughs> Yeah, pervert. You're just thinking of your own loins. I mean, your own thoughts. Okay. Yes. <laughs> it, it Sabrina Carpenter. Okay. Hot little blonde had a couple. She got the song of the summer. It's the song of summer by hers. I guess you would know it. You know what it is? Song of nope. summer is espresso. Oh. 
Then she released okay. another one too. Please, please me. Those are big. Look her up, man. She's uh, blonde. She's hot. She's she, she's uh, young, and she's she's uh, she's the artist of the summer and has the song of the summer. Okay. So, what was it? All right. Again? Hip question of Sabrina Carpenter. Are you googling? I will be when as soon as we get up. <laughs> We're taking a quick break in the show here while Costello Google. So, no, right. no, 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 no. The big tre- also big trend of the summer. You may have noticed this one. All these pop artists are collaborating and doing frigging country songs. Now, have you noticed that? I have noticed that. Yep. All right. Let's see what you know. So Post Malone has put out a single with what country artist? I don't know. Time's up. Oh, well done. Blake Shelton. <laughs> oh. Big and the song why is called. It, why don't I think you're looking for a woman? I don't know. I, well, you know, I don't know. It could be. The, so the song is called with Blake Shelton and Postman is called "Pour Me a Drink." Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I could use one. Now, the country. That's the thing about country lyrics and songs. They're, they're, they're so simplistic on the lyrics. You know, drive my truck, pour me a drink, I ain't paying my taxes, freaking cheated on me. Okay, but yeah, the, the Blake and and Postman is "Pour Me a Drink." Funny song, of course. All right. Uh, there's also. You may remember this because this was a guy who he was a big DJ out here in Vegas, big DJ in Vegas, Marshmallow. You know, oh, right? Hmm. <laughs> the guy wears like a big marshmallow on his head. You never see what he looks like. He's a marshmallow. I went to discos. Freaking guy makes the kind of disco. He's a DJ, man. He, the guy makes like a million dollars a gig. It's ridiculous. Well, I got so, something wrong then, didn't I? So he's <laughs> collaborated with a country artist. So it's Marshmallow. Uh-huh. And all right, who's the country artist he's with? Ding ding, ding ding, ding. Miley Cyrus. Ding ding, no, <laughs> you pervert. Okay. Kane Brown. They've done a song together. I mean, Marshmallow oh, okay. like put together the song in the beach. Kane does the singing, of course. Okay, right. Now on the oh, country. Now we talked about the pop song of the summer. The biggest country song of the summer is done by a pop artist. Okay, it's called the Bar Song. Sounds almost like uh, uh, Beyonce's Texas Hold'em. It's got that same type of, you know, they're trying to, uh-huh. like a black person trying to sound country. But it's called the Bar Song, okay? Right. Big song. They get, when the guy appears at like a country music awards show and they're going, oh, we want to see this guy first. He walks in and they're going like, holy crap, because he's got dreadlock, all this. So so the Bar Song, black artist, he only did one country song, so the Bar Song, big hit. The artist is... Tick, 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 uh, what? Did you say Miley again? <laughs> Lionel Richie. Shabuzi. <laughs> okay, if you say so. It's, just, it's like you when you it's like when you go out in the woods in South Carolina, you come back, you pick them off your ass. This is Shabuzi. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. What's that thing? Get this. I got a Shabuzi. You don't know Shabuzi? No, no. Well, you got a yes, man. It's called the Bar Song. These are hot songs of the summer. Listen, the only hot thing for the summer around here is the temperature in this town with the humidity, and I'm standing and, inside. And you're and you're Look at me. I'm white. I'm white, white, white. I don't go outside anymore. It's I can tell. Here's the summer. You have no tan whatsoever. None. None. Look That's at me. Kumbala kumbala kumbay. Kumbala kumbala kumbay. <laughs> tan, <laughs> man, tan. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, that's uh, you know, the bar song is pretty fun. Okay, it's pretty fun. Right, right, right. If you like Beyonce, Texas Home, you'll like Shibuzi bar song. He's been he's been appearing on all these country award shows before the summer came, anyway. So, right. the song is maintained to the summer, big hit, and whatever. So, and one of the new hottest pop artists there is, is uh, you, you heard of Teddy Swims? You know, Teddy? Oh, yes, intimately. <laughs> no, yeah. you see, you see this part of my head here. I'm here. It's been stuffed up I'm my heart for the last year. I'm, I'm, take, I'm taking notes here. <laughs> so, so far, Costello has not gotten one question right not on one. pop culture of the summer of 2024. <laughs> totally bypass me. Sorry. Unless big, they're coming knocking on my door. Big, big goose egg here. Nothing. <laughs> Dang. I mean, you have to know about this. Okay. Oh, oh, I do, huh? So summer is vacation time. Everybody travels. So, you know, the airports and stuff have been mm-hmm. busiest ever of all time. You know, that's why I don't right. fly anymore because it's just a real pain in the ass to go through. A lot of, there's been, the flights are always delayed. Flights are always canceled. You got to wait. 
people got bad tempers. There's fights on planes. Who needs it? But the good right. news from the airlines this week, this is a big deal because I don't fly this airline because of that stupid policy they had. They changed it today. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? about yes, indeed. Yes, Southwest Airlines, Airlines is now going to yeah. have assigned seats. I never flew Southwest, so I, but I did hear about that. It's last and, time I, I didn't know when the first time I flew Southwest, they have zone A, B, C. Where, and so I, I said, I don't know. I'll just do, I, I'll board last. Who cares? I, I didn't know they had, didn't have assigned seats. I did like zone C. When you do zone C, it's the last of the last. And it's always nothing that's left of middle seats. I mean, it just sucked. So <laughs> they're going, oh, so just because you, you save money. You know, if you have to buy zone A, you, you pay out the ass just to be able to be one of the first people to board, you know? Mm-hmm. But well, more, then, more of one of the first people to get off. Well, yeah, but you know, you want to try, try to get a decent seat by a window or an aisle. And you have to do zone A, and even this, I guarantee, because Southwest is north, notoriously known for pre-boarding. You know, okay, uh, all 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 uh, retired military, uh, all uh, handicapped people need assistance with kids getting on the plane, uh, all active service duty people, okay. All people with a booger on the left side of the nose and have trouble breathing, you know, just and just and it's like it's like 75 people board, yeah, a special boarding before you even call freaking zone A. So, we did zone A by the time you get on, you can't get a damn seat. Well, what but, you got to do is you got to get there and then prolong one of their um uh wheelchairs and sit by the gate girl in one of those wheelchairs. And if you can't take that on, so no, I think I can probably walk that far. <laughs> last time I flew south, I, I, I had I was recovering from my foot surgery, I was in a boot. I was in zone C, but they said, oh, those you get a hand lead assist. I went, well, hell, I'm going to take advantage of that. So I hop up with my boot. They want to go right on, sir, please board. And I got me a nice window seat. And I'm walking by these people with zone A tickets going, you asshole, like a bastard, <laughs> maker, you know, <laughs> all that stuff. And, they, and they'd, be, they'd be going, you know, like the military people going by as well, too. You know, you're not in uniform, but I bet you never saw action. I mean, they're just, just <laughs> like, pissed off, you know. Just, so... So I'm just happy they're doing assigned seats. So now you got these by your seat, by your aisle, by by where you want. So I'll fly them again now. Because otherwise than that, I, I like them. You know? It's interesting they said that 86% of people who didn't fly, the reason they didn't fly Southwest was no assigned seating. 86%, yeah. 86% of people flying Southwest said they would like to see assigned seating. <laughs> Okay, and, and it's how much business have they been losing over the years? I mean, how stupid, how long did it take them? You know, Southwest, you, you know, this is the number one hub airline here in Las Vegas. So, mm -hmm. so they interviewed a lot of people in, in, in this area here and here in Vegas. And, and they, they were Southwest passengers. They go, what's the biggest complaint with Southwest? They go, hey, I'd love to have an assigned seat. Yeah, how did it take them, what, 20 years or so to go, hey, maybe we should do assigned seats. And people want that. The D. Yeah. There's a CEO up there making millions of bucks. He just finally made that decision to give the people what they want. So. That and they're going to start doing red eye flights too, I understand. Which apparently they didn't do before. I didn't know that. Yep. So, like I guess I only flew them the one time wearing a foot boot and I got cussed out so much I never flew them again. So well, you, should, you, you should break it out and fly with them again with the old boot. Well, on. yeah, people go, when, hey, if you're, fly, if you're ever you know, need to board first or whatever, just bring your boot on. I said, oh, wear that damn thing to the airport if you don't have to. A pain in the ass to try to walk around that thing. And so <laughs> I got my early boarding because I needed it. Yeah. And I well, deserved it. I was wounded and I was hurt. <laughs> I stepped on oh, a yeah. landmine, but it didn't go off. <laughs> that's why so, I don't need to put in the boot. So that's that's big news here in Vegas because Southwest is the hub here in Vegas. The other mm -hmm. big news in Vegas happened today, this oh, morning. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of famous residents that live here full time, as you know. Uh, one just died a few months ago, uh, infamous, but he, he he was here, and he he always was. He was uh, at a place down the street from where I hang out, and work about two blocks away. Walking there any night, see him at the bar, hugging the same people, going up, "Oh, love you, how you doing?" O.J. Simpson. So he was sued again for the first time since the '90s by Fred Goldman and the Goldman family. You know, yeah, going for it, Fred. It's just like. Uh, I forget what the, uh, the actual name, because the last time he sued was in the 90s, and he won the civil suit. Mm -hmm. This new lawsuit, Fred says that uh, the Simpson estate now uh, owes him $131 million still. Oh. Now, I don't think they, he has that much left over. That's probably two, three million, maybe. I don't know. Maybe some hidden. I don't know. But uh, he's he's going for it. And, uh, and his kids are probably going, well, we, we, we need to get something from daddy. You know, I said, what? Well, <laughs> 
he could have got some if he'd have paid the Goldman's first. I mean, they they they, they, just, they deserve it. They're not going to let him go until they get what – you can't bring his son back and stuff, but they – go for it, Fred. I'm happy to hear oh, that. Oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Huh, interesting. You know, I saw an interesting thing today that in Northern Ireland, um, this is some unpronounceable town, they decided that they would um, – because it's a year anniversary of Sinead O'Connor dying, okay. Oh, has it been a year? Yeah. yeah wow, it's fast a year. Jeez, Okay. So, um, you know, they thought uh, being a wax museum, they put a little um, museum, uh, you know, they, they do a, 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 a wax work of her, okay? So <laughs> they- Easy, they easy did, to do the head, you know? Well, but that's the thing, you see. So they did this thing. Her brother said, it looks like a demented uh, mannequin. And this looks nothing like my sister at all. And all these people- Because like, they had no oh, hair, is that why? It, it, I, I, that's kind of it's a if it is her it's a very young version of her so they've decided to take it down and they're going to rework it which will be interesting to see what they do well Glad she became around. famous when she was young and of course mm -hmm. she, so she still but had Andy when she got older but did she's her all, all her famous stuff when she was younger she looked the way she did yeah well anyway they 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 really took a, a they were very very unhappy about it to say the least and it did I'll, I'll, I'll agree with them it did look a little odd let's see a picture of that that's I, I can't believe it's been a year you mentioned something i remember this from a year ago on the show mm -hmm. i was talking about i wasn't a big fan i only had the one song but you talked about how she was bigger in europe than she was in yeah. the united states which is true but you mentioned a yeah. song of hers that kind of stuck in my head uh, the emperor something right the, the emperor new, new clothes yeah yeah you said it was a big hit i'm just going i didn't i, didn't, I never heard that's no such thing you know what I heard that song for the first time about two weeks ago. I went, I know that song. I didn't know it was her. And I like that song. Yeah. I'm going, well, oh, it's it only great. took me all this time to figure the freaking thing out. I feel like an idiot. It's going, wait, is that Sinead O'Connor? Decent song. Decent song. Good. I like that. Yeah, that's a, that's a great song. That's a, we'll have a little bit of it now. Why not? You have it now, Ray? No. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm going, damn, you're getting good all of a sudden. You whipped that right oh, up on man, the man. Listen, if you I, push I, that I, digital button, pull up that Shader Connor song. You don't have the new board yet. You can't do that. No, no. I, I, I just, I just can't believe what this old board is suddenly doing. It's the most bizarre thing. It is time to go. But you know what? Yeah. We do have. I wish to mention, we do have new producers. Okay, we. I understand we do. They, coming they, online soon. Coming online, they'll, they'll be picking apart the show when it's done. They'll probably just erase the damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best you can give us. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they, they start and they'll be uh, producing, putting things together. You'll see us in various places. They they start. They're, they're working now, and their work you'll start seeing debuting next week. Will be more visible in a lot of places. Uh, more you can hear us in a lot more places. They're just mm -hmm. taking us over. So we're going they, they, they going can, to the next level, Coach Dad. We're going to the next level. They can actually get on um, TikTok. I can't even get yeah. on it any, anymore. I mean, they've. It's it's like okay, we've got your password. Now we're going to send you a super secret password. Um, you put a dancing video of yourself to get right up. No, you can't get even on there. Well, they, they don't worry. We we have our producers from yeah, France. Well, they got it covered. Are they, they're they're going to take us from level D celebrities. We're going to go up to level C celebrities. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm ready. Yeah. Uh, I'll I'll be trading my Mercedes in for a car. <laughs> or Volkswagen. <laughs> Volkswagen. There you go. What were, the, okay. what, were those, what were those little cars? They started with a Y, and they they were like from Yugoslavia. Oh, uh, Yugo. Yugo. That's it. Yeah. There you yeah. Go. Uh, yep. Death traps. Yeah. Oh god, they're horrible. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to trade in my Mercedes for Yugo. That's what. I'm they don't see them anymore because everybody drove one. They're crashing. They're dead. But, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. They were terrible. Terrible. Yep. Things. No horrible. brag, just back. But yes, it'd be, it'd be fun. To, and as we have our new our new management team and producers, you know what comes with that? Just saying, sponsors. Oh my God. Oh my. Do you know how it is when you watch your forming your favorite streaming show now? Sometimes you get to win and watch it for free. Do so. You got to put up with some ads during the show. So we've been ad free since our inception. So it's true. Coming, so we're going to have. Hopefully, we're going to try to. Be, Put the, we, we want sponsors, but we're going to hopefully have them right at the beginning of the show. And so you listen, and you can't you're, you can't fast forward past. You listen to those, then you get to the good stuff. You get to our, our material. Uh, or they, they may want to put them in the show. We'll see how it goes. So sponsors are coming. Looking forward to it because I've been doing all the editing for the last year and a half, and I like it, but 
Yep. So we've got some people curious lined up who want to be sponsors. So it's interesting eclectic so far. We we have uh, there's an energy drink that thinks it'd be a good fit for our show. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a keepable uh, wake. That's models. Yeah. There's some uh, glow in the dark condoms that people want to try to do. There they are calling. That's a there they are. Look, condoms are us. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I, really, I really need to take this. Hold on. Well, that was a quick word from our sponsors as we were talking about them. <clears throat> I thought you said you really need to take that. That was the quickest. I really need to take that call I've ever heard. It came Did they give you some secret code word and that was it? That's it. Yes. Yes. The uh, black helicopters will now retreat. Uh, no, I was... I, um, it came up as the you number. You got to share, share on the show, Cuff. So what the hell was it? Well, okay. It, it came up as uh, law officers of, and I've been waiting for a call from my attorney, and it wasn't. It was some something to do with some pill that everybody took in this. I don't know. So not, you're opening not, not, not my attorney to today. Uh, you're telling you that you you can remain out on bail. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to revoke your bail. There you go. Uh, well, I'm happy for it. It's great. You get the weekend. It's weekend at home still. Report yeah. back to jail on Monday at 8 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> and bring cigarettes with you. We'll no, we're talking earlier because you, you, you've been debating the idea of maybe selling your shack. I mean, home in, in Columbia, South Carolina, <laughs> <laughs> and buying an RV and living out of that and being able to just kind of move around and, and stay longer in places you like and go out yeah. and discover the rest of the That's a great idea. I'm now, about it. a friend of mine sent you a picture. You have to admit that's pretty cool. Uh, a friend of mine just bought an RV. Mm -hmm. What well, he actually bought is, is a Learjet that took the wings off and they gutted and converted the inside, made it a one bedroom RV inside an actual stinking Learjet. I, I, we've seen the outside. I, I, I got to go. Uh, I'm going to see him in about two weeks and I'm going to get uh, a view and pictures of the inside. Oh, yeah, get pictures. Definitely get pictures. Yeah, they had to take the wings off, which is understood. <laughs> But pull it down the street, you know. But he said he's going to pull over three yeah. times by cops in LA because they're going, you can't be pulling jets down. He says, No, he takes them inside. He goes, Not yet. Look, it's an RV. And they're going, I'll be damned. Okay. He never got a ticket. They looked inside and went, Okay, then. Yeah, so it, it, okay. Man's got an RV here. <laughs> Can I see in the front seat? <laughs> I mean, Lear Jets, anyway, always in the back I have one bed, one bedroom. So mm -hmm. I guess they made that and they converted the other part to like living quarters. So it's a really classy one bedroom RV in a Lear Jet. Mm -hmm. It's interesting looking, although I must admit, I think the uh, trailer is sitting on kind of dinky. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I, I didn't realize that, um, well, I mean, I didn't realize, but uh, I thought maybe they had a different propulsion system. And if I looked at that front wheel, I said, man, if you're steering that thing down the highway, that little tiny wheel, I don't fancy your odds much, but that's I, I just think it'd be just a ride. You, as you, you, should get, you should buy a costume. I know he's going to sell it. And you talk about <laughs> RV, just then you pull that thing into one of those RV parks and back that jet in. <laughs> you, you'll be the talk of the park, man. You meet some oh, new friends, yeah. maybe meet you a woman. You just because you got a Learjet RV. I mean, hey, hey, say hey. hey. Yeah. What, I, woman I floating around, single woman floating around in the RV park wouldn't want to hook up with a guy with the Learjet RV. There, yeah, you know, and I could turn it a family wagon too. See, there were use reasons for this. Well, that's true. Yeah, you got that damn Mercedes family. Well, that, that, that'll they'll forget that when they see the Learjet RV. <laughs> it's, it's a chick magnet for women over 60. <laughs> oh, perfect. Perfect. That's right. Thank, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, RV, they have a diaper, diaper machine outside too, there at the RV park. That'd be fun. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get an inside view. I, I know it'll sell it to you, so we'll, it could be really cool inside, and who knows, right? It could be the I, thing. How much could be, be, be asking, though? I'll find out. <laughs> like I said, I'll see him within a couple of weeks. You know, Pretty I sure. Be, the first uh, time that he talked about how he gets these things, and he, he just you know likes to restore them and whatever, have a little bit of fun, then, mm -hmm. he, then he sells them. So I'll get a price on that. So I'll get the Chris Bailey discount because he's a butt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's a friend and, 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 he's my and, buddy. and and he's a client he's a what and he's a client uh is, well, yeah that's how we met that's how we met with dad now we're just now we're just now we're friends so oh i see okay he's he's I, a really funny he's a funny I, I was thinking of those commercials all those years ago it said and i'm a client too i can't remember yeah. who did that no he's just he's he's a good guy he, he's i remember the first time we walked in i just i just went whoa <laughs> I, I never met him before he's like he's like He's got these uh, Gucci glasses, Louis Vuitton shirt, a bag across the shoulder with a gold chain. And, and I'm just going, God 
Hollywood just walked in. So ever since that's what I call him, call him Hollywood. So, <laughs> and he looks Hollywood. So you picture, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's impressive. He's a trip. He's a fun guy. So uh, we'll see, Costello. I'm just trying to work out a deal for you there, buddy. Okay. All right. Yeah, we have work on it. And um, hell, we'll we'll lose the shack and uh, get in, get a shack on wheels. It's just all part of our campaign to, to break Costello free and get his ass out of redneck here, Billy Shack Carolina. <laughs> Shack Carolina. Get him out of Get his life back again. He's on the road. You out the window, your three hairs blowing in the breeze and just being free and stuff is having yeah, a great time. This one, this one, and this one. <laughs> yep. Yep. I'll be flapping back there. And it'll be fun. Yeah. Get yeah. You out of that state. I mean, there's some good things in the state you're in. You're just not in the right part. But yeah. You know, That's true. Yeah. Are, yeah, you well, going to, are you going to Charleston this weekend? We talked I'm, about that. I was going go, to go to go today, but a um, little thing called the show turned up. So, uh, man, it's go been raining. I want to, yeah, I'm going to go down there. I'm definitely going to go down there. And um, you go down there this week, go down there and just spend the night too and make it a couple of day thing. Have a good time. Great food, great restaurants. Could get out to the, I'm telling you where to go. Mm -hmm. uh, Isle of Palms first and drive up to the Isle of Palms and hit the end down there. Uh, it's, 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 it's gorgeous. Beautiful. Isle of Palms. Yeah. Seafood, man. And the only thing is though, that it's kind of expensive to buy real estate. So I'll probably end up with one of those little condo things. It doesn't really matter, does it? Really think nope. about it. It doesn't matter where you are. Just a, just a place to sleep while you're down there. You're mm -hmm. going to be most of the time outside anyway. You know, okay. walking the battery, walking the old section, going to the beach, hanging out at the water. Uh, the shrimp boats and fish boats come in, get fresh fish, eat them right there on the mm -hmm. dock, you cook it for you. It's just, it's just fun. It's great. Uh, yeah, and I just look People down there are fun. They like to play. There's some there's, Down there in Charleston, there's, there's, there's uh, old money. Mm-hmm. A little bit of new money, and then everybody else has no money. That's that's the way it is. <laughs> oh, fit right in. I, I did. I just got <laughs> the gate. Just, just like. <laughs> yeah. we'll get myself a yeah. The radio station there. She was from a family with the old money, and yeah. her family lived in one of those old homes on there in the back. One of those old things going way back to past Civil War. You know, wow. I got to go in there and see it, and they had old, uh, they had old Civil War guns and muskets and all. It was just like. Six stories. It just it was a Mac. It was beautiful. You know, just old old money. I did well. I went down went down to Charleston when my sister was here. Just this is like days before the major event of last year. You mean and, this? Uh, hmm? Yeah, that's it. That's the <laughs> one. <laughs> that's just more like get me some aspirin. I'm having a heart attack. Thank you. <laughs> that's right. Oh, call nine one one. Would you? I'm gonna lay down for a second. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> Yep. Very calm, very calm. It was good. Good but to be calm. Yep. Good to be previous calm. Previous to that, though, we'd we'd gone down to um, uh, we'd gone down to Charleston, had a look around, and it was really nice. On the way there, there was a place called the UFO. Um, maybe you're familiar with it. Just it was a funny little place. It was totally derelict now, but it was um, like it, it was the Welcome Center. That's right, UFO Welcome Center. Can't remember the name of the town, but it's on the way there, right? Once upon a time, it must have looked kind of cool. Mm. And uh, it had like a big uh, saucer shape kind of sitting on the top of a bunch of stuff. That was on the way to Charleston, really? I kind of yeah. lived down there for a couple of years. I never, I never saw that. That must it's, be must be a new a new, a new addition for the tourists. Oh, it's not. wasn't that new. No, no, no. It had mm. to be probably 70s when it was built. So it had that kind of 70s vibe. Anyway, so and it had things like torpedoes outside. It was very interesting. Anyway, so this, this guy had been looking after it, and it burnt down uh, first of the year. I mean, there wasn't really much to burn anyway, but uh, what there was went up in flames. Sounds like uh, probably for the best, yeah. <laughs> Make a nice nice uh, carport or a nice car park. I yeah. yeah. I'll get you down there. I'm, I'm going to tell you, you're going to go down to Ashley River Road, which is the plantation road. Mm -hmm. Spanish moss hanging over the trees, old plantations back up to the river. A lot of movies have been shot at those places, so you you oh, yeah. you recognize some stuff. That'd be great. Get you down to, uh, uh, like I said, I, Sullivan's Island. You go up to the Isle of Palms at the end there. Oi, oi, oi. They just like <laughs> it so much. You'll cross the bridge from Charleston going over to Mount Pleasant. You'll like that. The old part of the battery going down to the slave market down there, you know. Uh, I've been there, yeah. Been there, yeah. That's where mm -hmm. Vice President Kamala Harris came from. And uh, <laughs> No according, no, according to the Republicans, that's the kind of stuff they're saying. I think how stupid that sounds. That's the way it's going to be. We got to hear this crap for the next five, what, five, four or five months, right? You know, it's going to be interesting, right? They're going to be talking about all this kind of you know stupid shit, and and hopefully, mm -hmm. Kamala Harris and the uh, Democrats will be actually talking about what they're actually going to do. 
So, I think the more they try to pick on her and try to make her make her lesser, so it's just, it's just going to make her look that much better and smarter, and make those idiots look that much more stupider. Trying to make the racist comments, the sexist comments. How how's that going to make them any better? Here's the deal. I sound like Biden. Now here's the deal. It, it's like yeah, Trump no, has just say base. Folks. Just say Trump folks. Has, Trump has this base. It's a solid base, okay, and mm -hmm. and and he's and, and it ain't going anywhere. But the problem is. Not really a problem. It's a good part. They don't. They don't. They can't. They don't gain anybody new because of the stuff they say. Female voted voters, uh, they're they're pro-abortion and all this racist stuff against uh, Kamala Harris. How they get the new new people, new women? They're not. Uh, African Americans, other minorities, they want to send 10 million immigrants back and stuff. Who the hell is going to jump to that side? So they just keep their same base. So the last poll before Biden quit, he's only like two points behind. So you you leave it at that. Now you see what's happened. It'll reverse. It could be two points ahead, maybe even more. I mean, it's a, to me, it, I wouldn't say it's dumb, but I just think it doesn't, unless something weird happens, mm -hmm. I can lose pretty good. And I'm damn happy about it. You know, I don't know about you. I'm, I just, I'm just going in and to keep that dipshit out of office and just make it. Make it happen. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think, um, yeah, I mean, I, I also think that the people who are kind of stuck in the middle, let me see how you stuck in the middle, but I think there's a, uh, like my daughter is an example. So I would, I don't want to vote for. Biden, I can't stand the man. So, well, you're not going to, um, you, you're, you're not going to vote for Trump. I said, oh God, no. I said, well, what are you going to do? So, well, I vote for nothing. Do nothing. Now they got a choice. They have an exciting mm -hmm. young choice. Okay, exactly. And, and like your daughter, like said she'd like Biden. If you were to ask her, well, what, what would he ever do to you? He's a nice guy. They said, well, he's just old and bumbly, and that's the reason why. That's he's exactly old. it. Yep. All the great achievements and stuff, they don't care. It's like, man, he's just an old guy. He fumbles when he walks like he pooped his diaper or something. I mean, so it's... Did you watch his 10-minute uh, speech the other night when he was like... They called it the decision, and he was talking about, you know, why he... I, saw, I saw bits of it. Yeah. It was pretty low-key. It, it had no emotion in it. You know, even though his family was all sitting there watching him do it. So mm -hmm. it, was, it was a goodbye speech, and here's my accomplishments and that type of thing. So it was fine. He's a, he's a, he's a nice guy. Yeah. He's been in politics for 50 years. You can't hold that against him. It's what he chose to do. Served his country well. The last three and a half years, he's done a lot of good stuff. He's been overlooked because Trump beats him up, and they keep picking up about he's old, he's old, he's old, he's old. Well, you know what he is, and it, and it kind of showed, and he made the right decision. So, Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, obviously he didn't want to, but, but he did. But like I say, you know, my, I said to my daughter, I said, well, you know, you're going to vote for Kamala Harris. She goes, oh, yeah, I'll vote for her. Oh, so, good. So she has made a choice now. So she's yeah. on the on the Kamala train, great. Indeed, indeed. Is it Kamala or Kamala? Is it tomato, tomato? Either way, I mean, Kamala, 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 uh, or Kamala, Kamala. <laughs> Calamity. That's the Republican line there, Ed. <laughs> Calamity, Kamala. Yeah, anyway. yeah. Actually, and, and, and on the. Giggler. I like the giggler. The, I must say, the giggler, the giggler though, was pretty funny. The, the picture of her, they put the Joker makeup on her, and they, they called the. It, was, it looked funny. And so. And she does have a unique laugh. It's a happy laugh, but I like it. The giggler. giggler. Talking of daughters, which we were, well, briefly. Um, my youngest daughter, who's a 911 dispatcher, we talked about her in the past. In Vegas here, yeah. So, so, so she told me this last week, she says, I'm going to go, I'm going to go for the force. I'm going to go and join Metro and be a police person. So she's going to move from the 911 and become and go and become an officer. Become an officer, yeah. With 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 sights on being a detective. Okay. Now, well, Daddy, funny. how do you feel about that? Uh, not thrilled about the middle bit. <laughs> Dangerous work. It is. It is. Especially, especially in this city. This city, man. A lot of crap goes on, you know. Well, I, I, well, she knows. She knows. I mean, she's in the forefront of it all. So we'll see. I thought that was kind of interesting. And I thought, well, you know, I mean, had she said I'm going to join the Marines, I would have said, think about that again. Mm. And I would certainly rather you uh, do the police thing. We well, eventually they, get our man. They, they brought back in the guy who's accused of shooting Tupac again in court this week. Oh. His, uh, they finally set a court date, so his trial begins in November. So. Twenty years later, and they won't. And this judge will not let him out on bail. He goes, "I'll do house arrest. I'll wear an ankle bracelet. I just want to be at home because I'm old. I mean, I'm in mid seventies, you know. Well, what did you shoot him for? But he, and he, he said he was in the car. He wasn't the shooter, but whatever. So. Mm -hmm. But they, the judge goes, nope, no house, no house judge. You stay in jail, man. So, oh dear, we're lucky he's not here. Boy, you know what? They've had like um, 
What would they do to him there? You shot, they'd be a freaking hero in South Carolina. You shot Tupac. He's, he's electing governor or something. Yeah, I know. But if you go to the, go to the jail, they've been, they've been dying like, like flies on a windshield, man. In I mean, the air conditioning, probably, you know? So okay. what I do in hot days like this, Costello, a selling guy, we bring out the A&W root beer. Oh, is that our new sponsor? <laughs> Cheap plug. Do you have any moon pies? Do you have any moon pies in the fridge you can go with this thing? Oh, I'll send you some. I'll send you some. Mm. I can't drink that stuff. After after all this surgery and stupid stuff, I can't drink that. I'm not allowed to. Not allowed to. I would if I really wanted. You need to get the fat-free A&W root beer. It tastes just like the original. Oh, don't make faces. It's good. I can't stand it. I beer. drank, I didn't even know it was fat free. I drank it. It's like, well, sugar free, they call it. It'd be sugar free, but it was great. Yeah. Sugar free AW root beer. The best soda, if you if you can drink soda, is Spanish Coca Cola in a bottle. I've had the Mexican Coca Cola. I don't know if it's the same or well, not, but I had that. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. It's oh, this, I, do, I do like that. It's pretty good. Yeah, it is. It's got sugar in it. But as you can tell, they're not they're not sponsoring the Chris and Costello original radio guys. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> The originally original canceled radio guys brought to you by A and W. You gotta say it right. It's not A. It's from the it's A and W. A and W. One and no, no, you said, you said the W two two correct thing. It's A and W. A and W. That's it. A and W root beer. Guess which one of us likes it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that is Doctor Pepper. Awful. 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 Horrible shit. I can remember when I first came over here, literally on the streets, when I came back from doing a tour, run out of money and everything. I'm in, I'm in LA, I was in Hollywood, and uh, I managed to scrape up enough money to get uh, something like a burrito, or probably something lesser, and a drink. So, and this uh, girl says, Oh, you've got it. You, have you, you've never had Dr. Pepper. I go, No, I don't think I want to. So, of course, I mean, I am just dying of thirst. I'm so dehydrated. It's, you know, just awful. And she gives me, this is great stuff. And I tell you what, I took a big chunk of that and nearly spat it out. It was so disgusting. Oh, horrible, horrible stuff. Made out of prunes or something, she said. Oh, well, that would be a southern boy. Yeah, well, I was really looking to a nice cold Coke. Believe me, when you've got that on your mind, nothing else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it goes. I do, man. I do. Yeah, I, yeah. Hey, before we have to scoot, I just got to say one, if you don't mind me, oh. on a personal note to you, Mr. Costello, a personal note. Oh, oh. Now, when our listeners are joining on me on this one, too, okay? Costello has a beautiful little corgi dog. Keep the corgi. The campaign, keep the corgi. No. Keep the corgi. He's, he's lying down here right next to me, actually. That, what, what does that tell you right there? Who's his buddy? You oh, are his pal, but um, yes, you are. And how old is your corgi? Seven. You've had him since the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Keep that damn corgi. Don't do that. <laughs> Come on, man. are you disabled? Nope, not quite. <laughs> are you <laughs> mentally <laughs> fucked up? That could be questionable. But no, well, that's true. Yes, I probably am. Yeah. Can you walk to the mailbox down the end of the street, something like that? Of course you can. Mm -hmm. That's enough. Maybe. Yeah, can little you, little Benji. Can you sit out in the yard where you let your dog runs around and plays and you watch and he comes to you when you call? Of course he does. So what the hell's the deal? You keep the corgi. Keep the corgi. I love dogs. You know that? You know. There's no you way you break that dog's heart at this age and this long. And oh, it would, just, he, it would, it would not be he, the same. Well, all he does all day is he just, he just lies in one spot and basically doesn't move. Now, I'm telling you, this is not a happy dog. Mine do that too, but if you were to get up and say, "Okay, let's go this way," they would go crazy. You know, mm -hmm. they um, they get they're so excited they would like it, but they follow what you do. You know, if that's what you do and that's all you do, they're going to hang with you and they'll lay around all day. If you get up and start moving, good. take them for a little short walk, they'll be happy and they'll do that with you too. You know, so no, he, he does. It depends on what they want to do. It's like, when I might, when we, when we they do dog, let her do this, so she'll do this all day. Oh yeah, well that's exactly what he does all day. <laughs> There's a snoring kicking out. But anyway, it's, yeah, we got to fix his uh, his coat is all screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> I, tur I turned over in bed and I thought it was the wife. <laughs> and she a big spoiled baby. She's a 150 pound Bernese Mountain dog. Beautiful. Where is she at? On the couch in my spot because I'm not home. I'm in Vegas. And, and see, how content is this dog? 
Happy <laughs> That's my seat. <laughs> Get up. <laughs> so if anybody would like a nice little corgi dog, don't <laughs> not, stop that shit. You're not doing that. Well, I mean, the he'd be happy, corgi. He'd be happy with some, you know, a couple with a child or two, and you know, who make a big fuss of him and. Uh, so that's You'd be better. I'll keep the dog, adopt the baby. Okay? Did you do it that way? No, no, thanks. I'll adopt <laughs> anything else. No, no. no Want to be free and clear so I can take the big RV. I'm gonna have some picketers out there in front of your place going, "Keep the corgi, keep the corgi." Now go here, take the corgi. <laughs> oh no! So we're, we're, we're working on that, folks. Know, okay. Little, little Benji's. I'm, no, don't get me wrong. It's not that I don't like him. It's just that you know, it's just the, the upkeep is too much. It's just become become a problem. So. I you know that's the way it goes. You know, it, it, I think. Um, Give me, folks. We'll, we'll be having a private conversation with Costello after the show about this. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's probably time to do this because, uh, you know, if we don't, it's it's school time, folks. It's school it time. Is. Once again, thanks to Vice President Kamala Harris for coming on being our guest today. We appreciate that. And the good sport. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're, just, we're just reading quotes from Republicans, man. We didn't make that crap up. So that's just what happened. So we enjoyed it. It's going to be a fun race. We're in it now. She's going to win it. We're in it to win it. Squeal. Yeah. Squeal. Get it. Squeal, Bailey. There's J.D. Vance. <laughs> you getting that hillbilly effigy right up there. Hey, hey, you want a corgi? <laughs> hit the bell when you hit the magic spot. There it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Squeal. <laughs>